in your face. Hi everyone. I came across a great activating strategy that you could use in your ELA block when you're introducing a new topic that you're going to be reading about. This is called an anticipation guide. They look different at each grade level, obviously, and I will be scanning in some samples and examples and even blank ones for you to use in your next ELA block if you choose to do so. I went to the second grade CKLA and I saw that the job hunt is one of the units that they will be um, studying and that is a reader that goes with the CKLA. So for example, you may want to put some statements here. It is easy to find a job. Jobs are usually 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Anybody can work anywhere. And get an idea of what students already know about hunting for jobs and they can respond here if they think yes, it is easy to find a job, or no, it isn't easy to find a job. And then after they do the reading, whether or not they agree with what they initially thought. So this is an anticipation guide that gets them excited about learning about the job hunt and reading about it. In fourth grade, it might look a little bit different. And in fourth grade, their reader is about the medieval times. So obviously theirs is more in depth and there is um, more columns here. They reflect at the end about what they've learned. An example might be medieval kings had unlimited power. Do they agree or disagree? And then after the reading on the page number, where do you find the evidence to say, oh yes, they did have unlimited power or the page number that tells you, no, they did not. There is actually other people during the medieval times that had tremendous power as well. So I will be sending these to you to use, and if you do happen to use them, please let me know how it goes. But just another tool that you can um, put in your toolbox to use during your ELA block. I hope everyone has a great weekend, and I'm looking forward to our conference day tomorrow. Thank you.